Hey everybody, this is Chris. Hope you're doing all right. Today we're going to take a look at how to integrate uh, Netlify's forms with a Gatsby project. So Netlify and Gatsby, one of the all-time tag teams, does a great job of, of managing your data for you on form submissions. But with a Gatsby project, there's a little bit of extra configuration that you've got to take care of in order to make sure that uh, form submission data can be collected on Netlify. So let's dive in. I have a brand new Gatsby project here open. So I just ran Gatsby new and then called it Netlify forms. So you want to make sure you've got node installed in the Gatsby CLI. If you don't take a second to um, get everything set up there, but I'm assuming that you've got everything set up. So let's go ahead and start. So I'm going to go just into, and you can do components and, and make this much neater than what I'm about to do, but for our purposes, we'll just go into the index file and we can rip this stuff out. And in layout, let's get a form with an, uh, let's do a label HTML4 equals, and we'll do name. We'll call it name. And then the input, we want an ID of name type equals text we can do on change is handle change which we haven't made yet we'll do uh, value uh, this is something that we have not made yet either we'll call it form state dot name and we can do a placeholder of enter your name and then we'll close it off here at the end and save and I've got an auto format situation there we go <clears throat> okay I'm going to get rid of link and image and SEO since we're not using it and then up here at the top we're gonna want to import use state then I'm going to grab this layout, this whole thing, and cut it. I'm going to uh, delete these parentheses, add a set of curly braces, and then hit return, and then parentheses, and then paste everything back. And then handle change and form state are not defined. Good. So we are going to... Uh, say const and then using the use state hook we're going to set our variable as form state and our updater as set form state and we'll use state and so you could do this uh, you could do like const name set name and const email set email and do them as separate uh, separate bits of state here for this example, I like to do it in one and just have this object. And so what we'll do here is we'll do name and we can do email. And that's fine for now. We don't need a bunch of crazy examples. And then let's grab this, the label and the input and copy it down. We'll do for email and email. The ID is going to be email. The type is going to be email. The value is going to be form state dot email. So again, you're just accessing this since we set this initial form state variable as an object using this object state, then we just access it with that dot notation. And then we can do enter your email. And then, so we get rid of this handle change error. Let's go ahead and do const handle change. It's going to take in an event. And then we can grab <clears throat> that event. Uh, we can do uh, set form state. And then what we'll do here. If you just ran set form state and then you know, name and you just updated the name, if you had a value in email, it would be overwritten and vice versa. So what we can do 
is spread out the form state. And then whatever our in, in uh, square brackets our e dot target dot name is will set equal to e dot target dot value. And we'll save that. There we go. Um, and then at the bottom of this, uh, underneath the input, we'll do a button with a type of submit. And we'll just do submit. And there it is. And then for our form, we'll do on submit. And we'll set this equal to handle submit. And so we can avoid the error situation. Let's just go ahead and take care of this. We'll do const handle submit equals event. And then we'll do e.prevent default there. We're going to come back to this handle submit here in a second. So let's make sure that everything's working. Uh, in our dev tools, what we'll do is open up our components, our Redux components here, and let's look at our index page. There's some hooks there. So we've got our email and our name. So if we type in name, nothing's working yet. So let's take a look. Oh, you know what? I'm forgetting. Uh, I think. Let's try this. Um, I didn't put a name here. So let's do name equals name and name equals email and I think that should work. All right, sweet. Uh, let me refresh this just to clear out that state and make sure we're still good. So I've got my index page, email, name, type in some stuff. There's name, updating, email. It's updating, great. So uh, again, just to recap that, um, I forgot to add the name property here for the person's name and the person's email that's um, submitting this form. But once we've got that, then we can run this set form state. We can spread out the form state so that things don't get overwritten. Uh, let's just take a look and see if that if we do that if we do that and we refresh, we go to this index page, email, we type it in. And then it's just name and the and the email gets erased. So you don't want that to happen. So spread it out. And you'll be good. Um, good. So we can move forward now to our um, to our submit uh, situation. So what we need to do here is we need to go I'm on uh, Netlify's form docs. And if I come up here and just grab this encode. I'm going to copy it, and this is on the form. I'll, I'll leave a link to this in the um, description. But we can just put that inside of our component. And then this handle submit. Uh, we can basically just grab what is in here. So I had the e-prevent default. Um, let's just, we'll just overwrite everything. And we'll copy and paste on the inside there. And this is for a class-based component. We can update this. So instead of spreading out this dot state, we can spread out form state. So we're gonna encode uh, the, um, this uh, object here. And then what you need to do, let's scroll up. So this part, okay. So we need to add a couple of uh, a couple of things here. Um, so in our form, we need to give it a name, and I'll just say contact like it is here. We'll do method equals post. We'll do data dot, uh, dash netlify equals true. Uh, data dash netlify dash honeypot. I'm just going to grab this bot field and paste it in. Uh, that's like spam prevention stuff. 
Um, and then here, um, right above our first label, we're going to uh, grab this input. So I'll type it out. Input type equals hidden name equals form name. And sorry, I should have done this earlier. Let me blow this up a little bit and I'll grab, get this down. Uh, okay, so hopefully that'll be a little easier to see. Uh, name equals form name value equals context so the the key thing here is that whatever is here in in uh, value where it says contact needs to match the name of the form this input being a type hidden is not going to show up so don't worry about it that's just how um netlify knows to to grab this this form here Okay, so I think that should be everything. Now, in order to get it set up with Netlify, what we want to do is make sure that this uh, project has a, a repo. You can do it with uh, GitHub or Bitbucket um, or GitLab. I, I use, uh, I'm using GitHub here. So what we're going to do is uh, git init, and then I'm going to hop over and, and grab a new... Uh, a new repo. So let's see. Oh, here we go. So I've got this new repository. Uh, we can call it Netlify Forms and hit create. I already did git init. I'll do git add dot to make sure everything's added. Git commit dash m first commit. Git remote add origin. For this, I have SSH uh, keys installed on this computer. If you don't, then just flip this over to HTTPS and grab that one and then copy it. But I'm going to copy this SSH. And then git push dash u origin master. And that'll take a second. And then if I refresh this, we'll be able to see our sweet new repository. And there it is. All right. So the next thing is hopping over to Netlify. If you don't have a Netlify account, just sign up for one. It's super easy. Um, but now that I'm in my little um, personal Netlify home base situation. What I can do is click on new site from Git. I'll do GitHub. It, I'm authorized. Sweet. So I'll do Netlify forms in here. And it's going to search all my GitHub repos. And there it is. Um, when we're doing Gatsby projects, you want to make sure that the build command is set to Gatsby build and the published directory is set to public if you're using a default starter. If you've got your own configuration, then um, that's fine. But I just hit deploy site. So if you have your own configuration that's different from that, just make sure that those those fields are, are filled in. Um, so it's going to build. And I'll pause here for a second and then pick back up once it's done. All right, so we're all finished up. We've got this... Uh, crazy looking URL here. So if I click on it, uh, there's our um, form. Now if we go into forms here, one form collecting data and there's contact there. So that's the form. We haven't had any submissions yet. Now notice when you're when you're uh, going through this, there are there is this tab that says verified submissions. There's spam submissions here as well. Sometimes when I've been testing, I, I was like, why is my form not collecting data? And then I looked at spam submissions and saw that it was going there. So just something to be aware of. So if I go here and do Chris and then do Chris, my email, and then hit submit. Success. Great. Uh, I think that's, yeah, that was from here. So let's make sure to go ahead and update that. But if I go back to my submissions and hit refresh, there's my submission. So if I click on it, I've got my name and my email address. So that's pretty cool. Now, if you're running into issues, uh, 
especially if you're on uh, in your dev environment on localhost, you can still actually test this out. Um, you can check your console and see if you're getting any sort of errors. So if I run Gatsby develop again and fire this back up, then I could go in here, do my name and email and submit. And if I see some errors in the console, then uh, how this is set up is they're actually gonna be alerted, but you might get some clues in your console or again, you might uh, check in your spam submissions on um, Netlify. So pretty quick and easy to set up. The key things are one, this encode uh, variable um, to this uh, handle submit function, and then um, three, making sure you match up the name and the uh, value in your um, hidden input. But that's pretty much it. So uh, thanks for hanging out. And if you enjoyed it, as always, uh, go ahead and give the video a like, subscribe to the channel if you're digging it. And I will see you on the next one.